Vic Braden first reported about this myth back in the June 1980 issue of Tennis Magazine. According to his research, ophthalmologists have proven that you cannot see the ball once it gets within three to seven feet of the body. Here we have a beginning student, Tynan, learning the one-handed backhand. It is very important when teaching beginning students to keep it simple. One thing I never tell any beginning student is to watch the ball come in and hit the strings of the racket. Or better yet, tell them things like watch the fuzz on the ball or read the writing on the ball until it makes contact. Instead, there are two key areas where you can help your students make better contact. Number one, tell them to keep their head still throughout the hitting zone. And number two, have them learn to anticipate by reading your opponent's body posture. This allows the feet to move in position for making better contact. So, if you're being told to keep your eyes on the ball, it actually can do more damage than good as the stress that, that's involved when you're not making good contact can completely give you a lack of confidence. Here in the background, you can see the pro prolonged fixation of the head during the contact point. My opponent or the ball, I'm going to track it in and then I, as I turn and I need to get in this position, my head will turn in this position. I don't want to have my head peeking that way when I'm trying to hit my back end. Here we can see Tynan's head fixated across the court and not following the ball into the hitting zone. It was reported as early as 1986 by Jack Grapple that maintaining the head on a vertical axis and keeping the upper body stabilized is one of the characteristics of elite players. So here I'm practicing a head turn but not once am I actually ever seeing the ball hit the strings of the racket. So again, don't have a panic attack on the next time a fastball comes at, at you. Just turn your head, keep it still, and focus on the hitting zone for a prolonged period of time. Remember, play the ball and not your opponent. So keep your mind where it belongs and don't worry about what your opponent is doing. In fact, once in a while you'll see a player Sometimes turn, and it's actually quicker to turn around this way than it is if I turn this way, and now I have to turn back around. That takes more time. It's actually easier to hit there than actually turn around to get back in position. Here we see Monfils spinning around on the forehand side, which is an extremely rare sight to see on the professional circuit today. But under stress, the professionals concentrate on staying in the present. Therefore, watching the ball has limited benefits once it has reached your hitting zone. Instead, there are some other natural cues you can work on to improve your predicting skills, such as reading your opponent's body posture. In this clip, we can see Aaron Krikstein has not made contact on the serve, yet Goran Ivanizovich has moved in position outside the alley to return the serve. This is an example of reading your opponent's body posture. Many players have predictable second serves, so it's only a matter of moving in position to be aggressive and attack the second serve. In conclusion, don't waste time trying to read the writing on the ball. Instead, concentrate on prolonging your fixation during the hitting zone, along with reading your uh, opponent's body posture.